I kid you not, this is my entire skincare routine. There's like so many items in here. I have like 30 items in my skincare routine. Like look at this. So a couple of people have been asking me to do this video so this is for you guys so this video is gonna be about my skincare routine and how i came about building it and what items i have in it right now so i'm gonna start with the morning routine first because it's shorter the first item i have in my skincare routine is a cleanser in the morning i use a cleanser to kind of washed off all the oils and serums I have on overnight and I use the spectral cleanser this is like a throwback to like being a teenager but I don't know it just works for me I have the spectral cleanser blemish prone skin it's fragrance free it works for me I don't find any issues with it I've been using this for a while now so this is my first thing the cleanser the next one I use after my cleanser is a toner this is a recent addition to my skincare routine I haven't been using a toner but I found this one and I really like it so far it's the polish choice pore reducing toner I have issues with large pores but this seems to be helping it temporarily so I have been using this day and night after the toner in my morning routine I use the buffet by the ordinary just looks like this all their packaging looks the same this is with amino acids and peptides just to help your skin to help nourish it and moisturize it it also has hyaluronic acid in it really moisturizing i feel or really it holds moisture very well so i like to use this in the morning next step in the morning is i use the niacinamide i'm currently still using the ordinary's niacinamide 10 percent again it looks like this same as all the other packaging they have but i've been using this one and i use this one day and night it makes me a lot less oily which is good because my skin is very oily and it causes me to break out a lot so this has been helping a lot pores rise i haven't i don't think i noticed a big difference like maybe a slight difference in the pore size but for sure less oiliness on my skin and less breakouts and lastly on top of that i use sunscreen so this is also a new addition it is the polish choice clear ultra light daily hydrating fluid broad spectrum spf 30 with antioxidants and i really like this one it's very light compared to my other sunscreen i was using before this one i was using the olay sunscreen which is okay but i found it very heavy halfway throughout the day i would be so oily already this one lasts all day and i haven't been getting oily which is amazing because my skin is extremely extremely oily so that's my basic morning routine pretty simple there's one two three four items so that's not too bad that's not too bad at all okay so on to my night routine so when i'm so when I'm wearing makeup, I like to go in with this first, the hydrating cleanser from CeraVe just to wash off all the makeup and break the makeup away. So I do that and then once I get all the makeup off, I like to go in with the CeraVe Essay Cleanser. So this one's a great one because I don't find it to strip away your moisture barrier which happens with a lot of other cleansers. This one has ceramides and salicylic acid in it which is great because it helps cleanse deeper into your skin and it goes into your pores and kind of like help clean that so i really like this one so after this i go to my toner so i'm still using the same toner from the morning the pore refining toner from paula's choice so after the toner i go into the exfoliator so this one is also a new addition all the paula's choice items are new additions to my skincare routine but i've really been loving them they're living up to the hype too there's so much hype around the paula's choice brand probably within let say like the last year or two and they're really living up to their hype so so this is the exfoliant. It's a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It also has all the silic acid in it. So funny story. When I first heard about this one, I thought it was a cleanser. So I thought you use it as a cleanser, then you wash it off. But it's actually an exfoliant kind of like lotion or serum. I put this on after I put on the toner. After this one, I go in with the lactic acid. I was really scared to use this with the lactic acid at first, but it works together great because this is a BHA, which is this one is an AHA. They're both exfoliating, but they do different things. And for lactic acid, I'm just using the ordinary lactic acid 10%. After I use the lactic acid, I go in with hyaluronic acid. This is a serum that really helps lock in moisture. And I really found a difference using it. My skin is much more softer and much more like hydrated. So I'm using, again, the ordinary hyaluronic acid, 2%. So after this, I go in with niacinamide on top of it. This is the same one from the morning. After niacinamide, I seal everything in with the 100% rosehip oil from the ordinary. The box is kind of dirty and it's just an orange yellowy so i know it seems like a lot of stuff but i promise it's not and i really got into a great habit honestly my skin really really improved i wish i have a before and after picture of like a year ago when i first started versus now like the difference is 
crazy. So what I learned is that it's really important to be consistent with skincare routine because you might not see results right away, but that doesn't mean it's not working to make these results happen. And skin purging is common. It's very common, but I think it's very discouraging us to some people. Like I get very discouraged when I'm using a new product. And then two weeks later, I'm breaking out so much and I'm like, oh my gosh, like what is this from? Like why am I breaking out? It's so frustrating, I know, but definitely keep going. Be consistent with your skincare routine. Make sure you're always washing off your makeup fully. I do have some honorable mentions that I want to show you guys. So before I forget, I also want to mention that I add new products to my skincare routine all the time to test them out. Um, it does scare me a little bit to add new products because I'm always scared that I'm not I'm gonna have like an allergic reaction to it or something. And I'm gonna break out like crazy. Like these ones are all new and I really love them. Yeah, so don't be afraid to try new products. Um, do your research on them, see what other people think and obviously everyone's skincare is different but you can get kind of get an idea so what i'm saying is don't be afraid to try new products be mindful of what you're trying though learn and do your research on them so some honorable mentions i want to add to this video are three items that i found kind of help with my skincare routine and it makes sense but it doesn't make sense but it makes sense so let me just get started the first and most important item in my opinion drink your water drink water drink as much water as you can like if i don't drink water i feel like not even feel like i see that like i see the difference my skin is like dry my skin is like i'm bringing i'm getting tiny little bumps it happens like drink water i drink so much water so the next item on my honorable mentions is this mask another the ordinary product i know i'm not sponsored by them i should be but i'm not it's a salicylic solic solic acid two percent mask this inside it looks like this So this mask has charcoal in it and also has salicylic sal acid. I'll put the mask in certain areas. So my T-zone and like my nose, my chin, this area, like where I need it most. And it really makes a difference. It really helps my face kind of exfoliate. And I would recommend it. Don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Even then, like... 10 minutes is kind of long usually i leave it for like five to seven depending on how dry it is so usually i just wait until it looks dry and it feels dry and i just wash it off i don't recommend leaving it for too too long because it does really dry out your skin so you want a good face mask i used to do it about twice a week but now i switch to once a week because i did add a lot more exfoliant products to it i don't want to dry out my skin or irritate it in any way so i switched to once a week so the next one is funny i've seen it on tiktok i was looking for this everywhere but it was sold out in all my walmarts i found it at a shopper's drug mart and it's the the band-aids hydro seal basically what i do is i put them on a breakout area i put it on after my night skincare routine except for the oil so i put this on before i put on the oil i put it on the breakout area i leave them on overnight it seems to really oh, it's so gross but it seems to really like suck out all the gross stuff in the pimples and it's been working so next time i'm gonna look into acne patches but so far i've been using these and they've been working and the last item on my honorable mention list that i want to show you guys i don't have it here well I can't really show you guys because I don't have one here, but it's potatoes and I really find them to work. Like some people are really skeptical of them, but they worked for me. So what I do is if I'm breaking out somewhere, I would cut a slice of potato and I'll slap it on my face and leave it on for like maybe half an hour. The results are slow, but they do work. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know if I missed anything or let me know your skincare routine. It's so cool to like learn about other people's skincare routine. Like from doing, from learning other people's skincare routine and talking about it with other people. I learned about so many new products that really, really help my skin. Like niacinamide, I actually learned from my friend that she recommended she used that she recommended and i love it like it was life-changing for me it was skin changing for me so don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what your skincare routine is let me know if i missed anything let me know if you recommend anything for me all right catch you guys on the next one